What's up YouTube? This is Nicodemus from Droid Sheets and I'm going to show you how to root and install Clockwork Mod Recovery on your Samsung Galaxy Tab 2, the 7 inch screen. First thing you want to do is make sure you have the correct device. So what you want to do is go into your settings. Down at the bottom, click on about device and I have Android version 4.1.1 so you need the latest over-the-air update and then model number mine's P3113 uh, you can do this with the 3113 the 3110 and the 3100 so now that we're sure we have the correct device make sure your device is not connected to the computer you click on the first link in the description and it will take you to this thread at xdadevelopers.com you need to make sure you download Odin unzip the file and put it in its own directory so you know where it's at Samsung keys that is basically I that's basically iTunes for Samsung you need to install that with your device unplugged and that will install the correct drivers for you to have your Samsung Galaxy tab hooked up to your computer so make sure first thing you need to do download both of these and definitely get Samsung keys installed so you can have your drivers and that's the only thing we're doing with this thread here I just sent you to this link because you can easily find these two files and then click on the next link in the description and this is single step flash Samsung CWM recovery plus root plus over the air recovery backup so what you need to do go down to the bottom of this first post and you will see for the different devices the clockwork mod recovery with super su and busybox so basically that means it's one file and you'll be downloading the custom recovery and rooting your device all at the same time so i have the p3113 so i'll be installing this file save it to your device i already have it downloaded once you download this file you need to extract the zip file and it will give you a tar.md5. So right now it's a zip file. You need to extract it with WinZip first. And then what you need to do is go and we're going to open Odin. Okay, here's Odin. Now what we want to do is on your device you need to put it in download mode. So to do that, you click volume down and power and wait for it to reboot. Okay. As you can see there, this is download mode. Now you want to plug your device in. And just click the volume up button and you will see this and over on your computer you will see under Odin you have this yellow box and down here it says added that means your Samsung is communicating correctly with Odin and you're ready to install some files so click on PDA and go to where you have downloaded and unzipped the recovery file for your device mine's right here and now that file is set up and ready to be flashed to the Galaxy tab. Up here, make sure that repartition is not checked. Flash lock, not checked. Auto reboot, leave it checked. F reset time, uncheck. Make sure you do that correctly. You do not want to brick your device. Okay, now you're ready to go. Just click on start. Now over on your Galaxy tab you'll see the progress bar it's downloading and it's going to reboot temporarily to finish up and then it will reboot again now it comes up and says Android is upgrading and there you go your device is back on click on apps and you see down here you have super su installed click on that 
It says the SU binary needs to be updated. Continue. Click on yes, or I'll click on continue to update it. That was successful. Okay, and that's it. The binaries are updated for Super SU. Your device is now rooted. And you have a custom recovery installed. Real quickly, I'll show you how to boot up into your custom recovery. We'll go ahead and unplug the device. Oops, slippery little bugger. <laughs> Click on hold down volume up and the power button. When the Samsung Galaxy tab comes back on, you can release it. Wait for a second. And there you go. This is Clockwork Mod Recovery. Using your volume up and volume down to navigate through everything. Now, if you find some custom ROMs that you would like to install, they'll be installed, let's say, under your download directory. That's where I always put mine anyway. And then you could click on install zip from SD card, click on the power button, choose zip, click on the power button, and it'll let you go and find the file that you want to install. It'll and it'll let you go and find the file you want to install. But we're gonna go back for now. And we'll just click on reboot system. Your device is rooted and you have your custom recovery. In the next video, I will show you how to install a custom ROM. So make sure you check that out. Please like, comment, subscribe. If anything, just subscribe. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you.